All right, guys, how you doing? This is Jim from Fishing Lab. As you can see, I've got a couple different hats here. Um, I went out uh, last week and I bought the action hat. So, at first glance, it's a really nice hat. It really is. There's no other way to put it. Um, it's going to be a nice platform to shoot video off of. My only real complaint is it's heavy. It feels like you're wearing a construction helmet because that there are, you know, there has to be some kind of structure inside the hat to accept the five points of mount, which is fine, but um, kind of looking for something that's just a little different, maybe a little lighter. As you can see, the session fits on there really nice and almost dropped that session. So as you can see, the session fits on there really nice. Slim, right to the edge of the brim. It fits nice. It actually looks nice. It's a great hat. It's a great looking hat. But like I said, I want to do something where, you know, a hat that I've used, that I've worn, that I'm comfortable with, uh, might be a little more comfortable to wear for a day of fishing. So what I'm going to do with is I'm going to modify this hat to take the session. Very simply, all I'm going to do is I have my tripod mount. So I went out and I bought uh, some hardware. It's just a quarter 20 by half inch screw, a flat washer, and a lock washer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the brim and then I'm going to in essence bolt this tripod mount to the hat so I think it'll be a little more lighter a little more comfortable than uh, the action hat but we're gonna see after I'm done with this I'm gonna try both of these hats out at the kayak fishing tournament this weekend up in Salem Massachusetts I'm gonna be fishing for four days hard and I'm gonna I'll bring both hats with me and uh, We'll see how they fare. I'll do a, uh, a video after, and I'll let you know which which one I think is better. So let's get to drilling some holes. So all you need really for this project is a drill, your choice of drill, of course, and a quarter inch drill bit. That's all you need. All right. So let me retract that. You're going to need something to mark. Well, listen, you can do it on the fly if you want, but I'm going to want to mark this hat so I drill exactly in the middle. So we know. So this is a one, two, three, four. This is a two, four, six panel hat. So on a six panel hat, this is exactly it. There are six panels of construction to this hat. So we know that this line right here should be dead center of the brim. So what we're going to do is we're going to come off the brim approximately a half inch. I marked it. This All this is is a china marker. I use it for rod building. I use it every day for rod building. You could use any pen you want. You could use a, a marker. You could use a pen because we're going to drill a hole through this and that hole is going to be gone. So then what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to mark, put this close to it because I want to put this as close to the hat as possible. And then I could see that the center of the uh, GoPro mount is approximately center of the, the hole that I just drilled. And how I know that is GoPro in production, there's a little line in the center of this mount. So I know when this lines up with that hole, I know it's going to be hard to see, that that's center of the hole. And then all we got to do is drill. Depending on what style bolt you use, I picked one with a screw head with a Phillips head. You're just going to need either a bolt 
or a screwdriver to just tighten it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you see you could orient the mount either forward or backwards. So forward or backwards. I want to put it backwards just because it's going to be, I want the weight farther back on the hat as opposed to forward on it because I do not want the hat to get tippy on the brim. So the uh, the strap is going to carry most of the weight as opposed to if I mount it closer to the edge of the brim, the brim is going to carry the weight and then it's going to cause the hat to drop. That's it, just tighten it up. You can make a smart, you can make a very light adjustments on it. Because this is a trial, I'm just gonna tighten it good. If this is something I would do permanent, what I would do is I would put a little blue uh, thread locker on there so it's permanent. Now I have a hat that I've worn before that I like, got a little GoPro mount, set to go. I'm going to mount the GoPro on it. I have another session. We'll mount them up so you can see them side by side. Okay, so session. I'm going to tilt it down just a touch. So the session with my, my hat, and then we have session with the low profile hat on the action hat. So I think they're going to be two good options. Um, like I said, I'll do a video after the tournament. I'll let you know, guys know exactly how I feel about it, if I made any modifications to this while I'm here, if I use the different frame so it's just a little low profile, and we'll see. Now there is one reason why I wanted to do this hat, drill a hole in it, as opposed to the head strap. The head strap is nice, but the problem is, is if you have a hat on and you put it on, and if you ha if you don't have a hat on, this works very well because you could kind of judge the center of this with your nose. But if you have a hat on, you could have it just off a little bit, and then next thing you know, all your video is off center. And that's not what we want. The goal is to try and produce the best video possible. It's one of the reasons why I tried the session out because the the whole thing with the microphone is great because if you use the waterproof housing the audio is not good. Now you can roll the dice like I did in one of my earlier videos and I'll put that link below where I run an external mic on an open GoPro and guess what I hit the fishing rod hit it and the GoPro took a swim. So I lost 500 bucks in one second of fishing. All it took was one swipe at a fishing rod and it was gone. I was able to save the dog bone uh, camera arm because it floats, thankfully. So I didn't lose that 100 bucks, but I did lose two cameras. And I don't want to say that experience was all bad because when I lost that, I decided to go for the sessions. So I have two of them. It gives me roughly between four and four and a half hours of filming which is not a bad day of uh, fishing I also have a way to charge these on the water but that's gonna be another video so hope you guys like this video I hope it helped if you have any questions or comments leave them below as always if you like the video hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to our videos we're gonna keep putting out great content hopefully it's something you guys like if there's something you guys would like to see you know, leave in the comments below, and if it's within our means to do it, we'll make a video on it. And, uh, thanks for watching.